Well, Governor Mike Parson this morning launched an assault on unregulated products containing chemicals derived from hemp, products which mimic the effects of the THC in legal marijuana. Parson says the chemicals get none of the testing nor quality control measures applied to regulated THC products and thus represent a serious threat to young users. The chemical in commercially available marijuana is Delta 9 THC. In Missouri, it gets subjected to rigid standards for safety. But retailers across the state and across the country, especially in states where recreational marijuana still is not legal, have gotten around that. You know, a year ago, most of what we sold was just Delta 8. And now you've got all of these other derivatives that have been discovered and extracted. People have to have their eyes open. It isn't, it isn't innocuous. It isn't necessarily um, safe in all individuals. The problem, Parson says, is that the alternative hemp derivatives have histories of contamination. They also get packaged to look like common consumables, something done deliberately to attract underage buyers. So to the public, without restrictions, means that there is no age limit, no quality control, no health or safety standards. So the administration has issued an executive order. Effective September 1st, it will be illegal to sell psychoactive cannabis products in Missouri that do not originate from an approved source. Parson says neither the Food and Drug Administration nor the state of Missouri recognize any approved sources. So that takes the products off the shelves. And since the vendors for those products frequently also sell alcohol, liquor licenses at some 17,000 regulated retail locations will become targets. It could be from just a simple verbal warning on the site to a written warning to a disciplinary action ranging from suspensions, fines, to eventually it could be revocation. Since 2018, state officials say there has been a 600% increase in the number of children five and under who have experienced cannabis poisoning that resulted in emergency room visits or hospitalizations. State lawmakers this year looked at issues such as packaging and advertising, but could not agree on how far to go. At this point, the authority that we have through ATC and through DHSS allows us to go in and identify, embargo those products. We don't have that authority at this point over advertising. Now, the Missouri Hemp Association claims to represent some 10,000 unlicensed points of retail sale in Missouri, generating $400 million annually in economic activity across the Show Me State. The group challenges the assertion that hemp products skate by on the fringe without regulation. The organization says the marijuana industry in Missouri has sought to protect a monopoly, blocking access to regulatory forms that would keep hemp alternatives safe and legal.